We will now demonstrate the fully qualified domain name type network objects introduced in Firepower 6.3. FQDN type network objects were introduced to give the Cisco Firepower Next Generation Firewall parity to the ASA with regards to the definition of network objects. It's important to understand that these operate at layer 3. They are resolved to IP addresses prior to traffic processing. And when the traffic is processed, the traffic is simply matched with the IP address. This will be discussed in further detail during the demonstration. This should be contrasted to URL objects, which are quite different. They are available in 6.3, but were available before, and they operate at layer 7, evaluating the traffic as it is processed, for example, by analyzing the HTTP request header to extract the URL. Let us examine the configuration components of this feature. As you can see here, we have a network object called Alt Honey, and we've simply added a radio button option for FQDN that has been added to our network, range, and host object types already available. We simply put in the FQDN, and we decide whether we want it resolved as IPv4, IPv6, or both. We could also introduce overrides if we wanted different resolutions for different devices. Now, let's look at another object that we have to create for this feature called the DNS server group. This specifies the DNS servers to be utilized in the resolution of this FQDN. Now let's look at the platform settings of the device. We can see that there is a DNS section referencing the DNS server group. It also has a couple parameters. The expiry entry timer adds to the time to live received from the DNS server. This avoids having such a low TTL that you end up utilizing resources to do the t resolutions. Also, there's a poll timer is less than the TTL. You will resolve the name prior to the TTL being expired. We also specify the interface on which we will be contacting the DNS server. Now, if we look at our pre-filter policy, or we could do this in an access control policy. But I wanted to do it in a pre-filter policy to emphasize, for those of you that are familiar with these policies, that this must be operating at layer 3, because the pre-filter policies only operate at layer 2, 3, and 4, and not at layer 7. You can see that we're able to specify the destination network in the pre-filter policy. Let us look at the CLI for the next generation firewall to do some verification of the configuration on the data plane. If I do a show running config DNS, those of you familiar with the ASA will find this very familiar. But in particular, we are using the DNS server group, dcloud DNS, and that server group consists of a single name server, as we saw when we looked at the configuration of this object. If I do a show DNS, we'll actually see that althoney.dcloud.local was resolved to two different IP addresses, and you can see the TTL. And just to complete the demonstration, Let's actually try binging these addresses. And as you can see, they're blocked. Pinging another IP address shows that we are allowing ICMB through the firewall by default. Thank you very much for your time.